In this video, we're going to look at four different scaling problems. So for this first problem, figure B is a scaled image of figure A. The scale factor that maps figure A onto figure B is 1 to 5. What is the value of x? So they are giving me the ratio of the two sides for figure A and then figure B. So I'm going to put A, B in a ratio table, and I know I'm going from 1 to 5. So now I'm going to put the sides that I've been provided, so the 4 and my x, I'm going to do a box for my unknown here. And now I just use my scaling up, so it's 1 times 4, and then over here, 5 times 4 would be 20. So x has to be 20. For this problem, figure B is a scaled image of figure A. What is the value of x? So I wasn't given the scale factor. I have to determine that myself. So I'm going to start a ratio table. I'm going to put figure A and B. And now I'm going to put the corresponding sides or the sides that are in the same position in the triangle. So in figure A, I have five, and that corresponds to the 15 in figure B. So five goes with 15. And I know that the six corresponds with the X. So I will put my six for figure A. And I can put an X or I can put a box for the missing number. So now, I cannot easily see a scale factor going from 5 to 6, but I notice that I can find a scale factor from 5 to 15, and that's going to be times 3. So this is going to be 6 times 3, and that means that x is equal to 18. In this third problem, figure B is a scaled image of figure A. Enter the scale factor applied to figure A to produce figure B. So like my last problem, I am going to start a ratio table, figure A and figure B, and I'm going to put corresponding sides. So I know that 2 corresponds with 8, so 2 corresponds with 8, and 3 corresponds with 12, and I notice that there is a scale factor between uh, these two sides, that is times 4. So my scale factor is 4. Our final example explores scaling through a problem. A scale drawing of a park is 4 inches wide and 7 inches long. The actual width of the park is 20 yards. What is the area of the actual park in square yards? So I'm going to start by creating a ratio table and I'm going to label it W and L for width and length and I'm going to fill in the information that they gave me in the problem. So I have four inches wide and seven inches long and then the actual width is 20. So go to the W and I'm going to put the 20 underneath the four. I know that I can multiply four by five to get to 20. So 7 times 5 is 35. And so that's my length. But I'm not done because the question is, what is the area of the actual park? So now I have to multiply 35 by 20 in order to get my area. So the area is going to be 700 square yards.